So we continue from the last chapter. After Gojo did his domain expansion to cover Sukuna's domain, and we suddenly see it going smaller and smaller as Gojo is shrinking the whole domain structure smaller than a basketball. And the reason why is because if the domain is small, it's actually much stronger than a normal size barrier. And also too, lowering the volume and increase the density and a strong defense so that way an enemy would not escape the actual domain and that method on what gojo did making the barrier become smaller than a basketball is very dangerous because the domain can actually collapse but the reason why he was able to go ahead and do this is because of the fact that he was trapped in the prison room for 19 days so of course gojo he can envision being trapped or being in like a small place because a normal person when they do a domain they do it in like a much bigger space but if you never been like in a small space like gojo when you was trapped in a prison room then pretty much your domain is just no more it is also added that a domain barrier typically have a set interior and exterior parameter, like a volume and a creation speed. By discovering their own balance of these parameter, every sorcerer is able to establish their own domain besides people like Hakari and Higuroma, because these guys are the exception because their domain is open by the default as part of their own curse technique. So while Gojo, he was also making the barrier become much smaller, Sukuna, he was able to decrease the range of his domain so that way he can increase the output of his curse technique. So while in the midst of the battle, the barrier starts to break and we see Gojo and Sukuna, but Sukuna's shrine, it starts to fall apart and disappear as it shows that Gojo won this battle of domains. And we see that Gojo, he was able to conflict damage to Sukuna as we see blood is coming from his mouth and then the upper chest or lower chest, upper abdomen, is there's like a spack of blood. So Gojo, he was able to win and conflict damage to Sukuna. And there we see Sukuna, he's kind of look pissed off, but very interesting. So while in the midst of that, Gojo and Sukuna, they go on ahead and they start to do hand-to-hand -hand combat. And this is something that was just really strange to Gojo. But before we see the inner thoughts of Gojo, of uh, most of the people like Maki and everyone else was just like, you know, since the domain has collapsed and it's been three minutes, they cannot use their curse technique. But Maki implied by saying that, you know, Gojo, he can go on ahead and do reverse curse technique to revive his curse energy output, like how he did previously when he did red and try to actually knock Sukuna out and try to destroy his shrine. But Angel advised and tells everybody that, yeah, Sukuna, now he knows how to do that because since he saw how Gojo was able to do that, now Sukuna can do that as well. So Sukuna is pretty much that any technique that you show or how to maneuver a technique and Sukuna can see it, then Sukuna would try to mimic it and copy it. And so this is just really huge news. So we focus on the hand-to-hand -hand combat between Gojo and Sukuna. And of course, Gojo, he's trying to figure out what is Sukuna is cooking because he's just like, wait a minute, what other curse technique this guy is able to throw at me because he hasn't done it in a while. He's only doing this mantle and cleave. But so far in this battle, he hasn't done anything and he's just curious to see like what's going on. Kuna hasn't even tried to attack the domain and he just sit there and just try and just taking it. So he's just curious to be like, wait a minute, you didn't activate the 10 shadow technique. You also have the memory of Megami when me and Megami actually was able to talk about the 10 shadows and Maguraga. So what is he's up to? And then we see that the wheel of Maguraga actually was able to click and so that it showcased that Sukuna is hiding the wheel of Maguraga and this whole time that Sukuna was being attacked by Gojo, he was actually was trying to have Maguraga or the wheel to adapt to Gojo's 
techniques and abilities and everything else because as soon as that wheels tick we see gojo's nose is bleeding and he starts to feel dizzy and the chapter just ends and this is a smart strategy what sukuna is actually doing because of the fact that we saw him was able to throw the wheel of maguraga in the shadows so of course he's willing enough to go ahead and hid the wheel so even if like gojo was able to actually was just like focusing on him he didn't see when sukuna was able to activate the wheel and it's maybe because of the shadow gojo's six eyes couldn't see it and it could be that is one reason why gojo couldn't figure out the wheel maguraga has been activated or maybe sukuna automatically activated the wheel maguraga you know before this battle so we don't know what's going to happen in like the next chapter until it actually released next week but this is just really crazy that sukuna man he has multiple tricks up his sleeves and that 10 shadows technique is really benefiting him so i'm just happy that now we're done with the whole domain clash arc of this fight and now we're going to be focusing on like the other curse techniques and abilities but let me know down in the comment section how you guys feel about this chapter what you guys think process let me know down in the comment section like what you think what i said is wrong corrections or anything else like that and if you guys do like the video please give it a like subscribe and remember always be decent this is the monotone man and hope you guys have a wonderful day and be safe out here peace